And welcome back to Manic Monday right here on WFTU Radio. That was just Rob Thomas with New York City Christmas. Good morning. Happy Monday. This is Manic Monday. I am Joe Rack along with... Star Fuentes and... Victoria. Victoria. We have Victoria in the house. Victoria is back. She hit a little traffic, but she's here now. Yes, she is. All right, so Star, let's introduce our special guest. So, we have... Christian Gardino in the house today. This is our first ever non Five Towns College musical performer. So you are our first. I'm the first, huh? <laughs> yes, That's you crazy. are the first. That's crazy. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, we have so much to talk about. Absolutely. Well, first things first, welcome yes, to Five welcome. Towns College. Thank- welcome to our little radio station here. Yeah. Thank you for having me. This, is, this place is cool. I want to I, I wanna go here. Like, this is a really cool place. Aw. That's great. What More than welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> more than welcome to have you. <laughs> so you were on America's Got Talent. We'll get into that in a little bit. But when did you start singing? Because your voice is phenomenal. That's a good question. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I, I, I've really been singing for, for as long as I could remember that it, it's, it's hard to um, really know when it started mm-hmm. because it's it's really all I know you know I, I all I've been doing so so singing is is something I've, I've always been doing um yeah since I was little little you is know? there someone that inspired you yeah I think um my 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 whole family is is really musical my uncle has a band um all all of my um pretty much all of my aunts and uncles sing uh and my mom sings so so that, I think that really inspired me to start, you know, doing music, like really going into it and, and making it like a career for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, artist wise, I think like two of my biggest inspirations are Stevie Wonder, uh, Kendrick Lamar, all those like old school soul artists like Donny Hathaway, Marvin uh-huh. Gaye, all those guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I grew up listening to all of that. Legends. Yeah. Awesome. And and you can really hear that because when you sing, you see me and Christian met at the news conference and that was a lot of fun. And you yeah. had the opportunity to sing the national anthem. Wait, not the national anthem, right? Was it the national anthem? Uh, yeah, it was the national anthem. And I also sang uh, my my first single, which I actually dropped that day. Yes. So that was That's really exciting. cool for yeah, you. That was cool. That's that was awesome. cool. Yeah. And that was so cool. I mean, he had the place just silent. Everyone was just watching him. Everyone just couldn't believe the voice that that was coming out. It was phenomenal. So with that being said, you started singing when you were little. And I guess, when did you start taking like singing seriously? Um, I think it really started at... Um, the Apollo Theater, I think, is one of the biggest things that I really started to say, hey, like, this is, like, something I could do. Like, this could be a career for me. I could I could do this. Um, it was there. And if you guys know what the Apollo Theater is, it's, it's yes. a place yes, in Harlem. Absolutely. And it's one of the harshest. The, the crowd is so harsh. They will tell you like it is. They, don't, they do not care. Yeah, they'll boo you if you're bad. They will boo you <laughs> off. You'll have, if they, if they boo, you know, they boo loud enough, they have a, they have a siren that'll start. Yes. Oh my and, goodness. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, um, somebody will walk out on the stage called the executioner. His name is, his name is C.P. Lacey. And, uh, he, he'll come out in a costume with a hook and he'll, he'll just kick you off stage and they're <laughs> yeah. booing you off. Oh, it's harsh, man. Mm. Uh, so I didn't get booed, <laughs> which, was, <laughs> well, which was one of the things like, okay, all right. So we're, we're cool. Um, yeah. but I think. Before that, uh, I had I had there was a, a company that that did shows all around the island and the middle schools and the high schools, mm-hmm. um, called Idol Maker USA and and I I was was one of my first times like ever performing in front of like a bigger crowd which was like the school the whole school I was and that was one of the most nerve wracking things. Wow. Mm. Uh, to perform in front of the school in sixth grade, but uh, that's that's when I really started to take music really seriously was that and the Apollo Mm. so let's go back to the Apollo tell me about that experience because I watch Showtime at the Apollo and it's probably one of my favorite shows (laughs) and that's with with Steve Harvey right yeah 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 Yeah. um it's it's you know it's absolutely insane I was actually I was on the first episode of Showtime at the Apollo when it started wow Um, Wow. that was really cool and Steve Harvey's awesome he seems like it seems like such a nice Um, guy yeah yeah but 
there's something so nerve wracking about the Apollo because before the before the show starts, you know that crowd is ready. You know, like they they they're not gonna lie or front about anything. They're gonna boo you off if you know whether whether you suck or not. They don't yeah. care. They're gonna tell you like it is. And I think that was one of the biggest things. I was scared, man. Like. Before I went on to perform, I'm sitting backstage and I hear I hear the crowd. It was loud. Yeah. It was really loud. It was a lot of people. It was a packed out show. And I've never performed in front of that many people before. Uh, so I remember walking out there and you have to rub the tree. They yes. The, the, um, it's like a good luck thing. It's it's don't forget to rub the tree. You're done. Yeah. Um, but you, I went out to rub the tree and... It's just the energy from that place. You really, really feel the energy from all the people there. And mm-hmm. and I was nervous. As soon as I opened my mouth, I was so scared to hear a boo come from the audience. Um, but, you know, I, I started and and the theater erupted. And, and that was one of the coolest moments. And that's got to make you feel good. It, it really, it, it, you know what? It was a huge confidence booster. Yeah. <laughs> because that, that man, like, I, I, it's it's crazy how... how incredible that place is and how many people were there and i i really thought like one of them was at least bound to boo me like i i was waiting for a boo no mm. way i was so scared i was so scared but but that place is, is like my second home now i love that place they're all family there that's so nice it's awesome yeah that feeling you know before because but before we do things like whether it be a radio show or a broadcast you know how you get those like butterflies in your stomach yeah, but at the, the pre- Apollo I got, I got it before I came yeah, here yeah oh, oh. yeah oh. no way but 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 the Apollo that's like a whole different ballpark that's yeah. like butterflies like fluttering all over the place that must have been crazy it's like yeah it's it, it's 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 butterflies times 10 wow so from there did you go t- to America's Got Talent, or was there yeah, some in between get, time? How did you get picked for, uh, to be on America's Got Talent, how, like um, to audition? So one somebody we know actually sent us uh, sent America's Got Talent a, a clip of me, and they wanted me to audition in front of the producers. So we went into Queens College. Um, I think it was it was two years ago in, in February, um, and we went in there. We we auditioned, and. It was in front of the executive producers. It was it was very nerve wracking. Like mm. that was that was nerve wracking. Um, but you know, we we went in, auditioned in front of the executive producers, and they you know they want us to come back for the actual auditions, which were on TV. And mm. that 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 one that was <laughs> really nerve wracking. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> but you know the the crowd um, at America's Got Talent sometimes is gets wild and crazy like they oh, do yeah. at the Apollo. Yep. So that must have made you feel good when they were cheering you on as well. I think the thing I was most uh, nervous about was the judges. Mm. Yeah. And I, I remember walking out and they started talking to me and I'm like, wow, these are people I've been watching since I was a kid and now I'm in front of them. Uh, and you got I, to see uh, Howie Mandel, right? Mel yeah, B. Howie, Mel B, Heidi Klum, wow. and Simon. Wow. Wow. So that was really cool. That was really cool. And Simon, Simon, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna tell you like it is too. That was one of the biggest things. I always watched him on TV when I was little and always wanted to perform, you know, in front of him and 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 because I knew he was gonna tell me whether I was good or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I think his approval uh, was was really, really something that that helped uh, me establish myself. You know. Yeah, I mean, that can definitely be inspiring, you know, because you see some of the judges, especially Simon, he can be very tough. Yeah. And, and for the most part, he does say it like it is. And there you go, doing your thing, performing, giving it the best that you can be. And, you know, he likes it. That's that's a huge compliment. And that's something to carry with yourself forever. Yeah, yeah. That absolute relief. I, I Best word I could use to describe that that moment when I when he, you know didn't hate me it was, uh, it was absolute relief and and when you know um how we hit that that golden buzzer i was i was like whoa what? i was just about to ask that how did you feel in that moment when he went to go press that golden buzzer yeah which means um, for those listening you make it to the live shows correct yeah, you go straight through to the live shows uh that was crazy uh everything was a blur all i remember was singing and then i don't know like when I'm on stage and, and it's something like that, you know, something happens to you where you just kind of like black out for a second and all that's happening is the music and, and the moment that you're in right there. And 
you know, after I, I got done singing, it was like, all right, I'm coming back now. Like, like it's it's over. I'm relieved, mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. everything went okay. Like, um, and you know how we hit the golden buzzer, and I was I was so surprised that he actually did it because he was. He asked me, he was like, if you had one wish right now, what would it be? I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to say it. I'm gonna yeah. say it. And I said, probably the golden buzzer. And he hit it. I was like, wait, what? Wait, he actually, what? what? <laughs> so, so he actually hit it. I was surprised, really surprised. I was like, wow, that was cool. That was really cool. Wow. Um, what a moment. You'll never yeah. forget that. I will never yes. forget that. It was, you know, it was so, it was overwhelming too. I think one of the, the best ways I could describe it was you don't you don't see something like that coming. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. So that's just that's a moment. That's a moment right there. If, mm -hmm. if, you know, if ever there was a moment, that's a moment right there. Now, did he let you hug him or was just a, a, I hugged a fist him, yeah. pat? Wow, because he doesn't I hugged like him. Uh, yeah, you know, he's you know, a German. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that going on to the show. So I I'm scared that I almost shaked his hand, but. I don't remember. I don't remember how that worked yeah, out. Yeah, you were but just I, so I, happy. I gave him a hug. Yeah, I gave him Aww. a big bear hug. Aww. Like, oh, that's so nice. It was, uh, it was too tight. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, rem I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that he he had OCD before I went onto the show. So, so it was like, I was like, my mom told me that the day after, and I was like. Oh really? I thought I, I, I'm pretty sure I almost shaked his hand. Oh my goodness! <laughs> your your so mom. Bad. Oh my goodness! Your mom and dad are probably beyond proud of you. Your family is probably so proud of you. What's that like? Like having all of those like figures looking up to you that do have a passion for music. I don't know. You know, I th I think about that, and I think like you know why people look up to me. You know, I'm not the person to look up to. You know, I'm still I'm still. A human being you know I'm just like everybody else like I don't f I don't feel like I don't feel like anything more than I am you mm -hmm. know and I don't want to I don't want to portray myself as something more because I don't want you know I don't want to to have that image that I think you know that I'm you know something you know special because yeah. I'm just like you know I'm like every I'm I'm every I'm like everybody else you know what I mean I'm just like everybody else so it's like you know it's great that you know, people look up to me and I try to give the best example that I can. But in the end, I, I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm just like that person. Everybody, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still me. That's mm -hmm. so sweet. Yeah. I, I mean, like, cause I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to forget where I came from. I don't want to change. And I don't want like, I don't want, you know, cause it, it's cool to have people that look up to you, you know? Um, but in the end, it's just like, it doesn't feel like I deserve it because I feel like, I'm just, I'm just like them, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still human. So it's like, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're extremely humble about it and that's super sweet. Cause you know, some people, they get opportunities like that mm. and they become these like brats that don't want to do anything. Don't want to hear about anything. You know yeah. how that goes, but that's so cool that you're a very down to earth kind of person. We can just sit here and have a nice conversation. Thank you. Like Thank that's you. really great quality. So never lose that ever. Absolutely. Yeah. So from singing when you were little to taking it seriously to singing in front of people in sixth grade, your school, going to the Apollo, hugging Howie, <laughs> getting away with it. No, no. Going to America's Got Talent. So what happened after that? What happened after that huge performance? Um, so after that, I, I got the golden buzzer and uh, we actually had a, an airing party uh, oh. when, when it aired. And oh. so the funny, the audition was filmed on my birthday. Hey, look at that. So that was, oh. that was pretty crazy. Um, it's a nice birthday gift. Yeah, just a, yeah. <laughs> um, so we had the audition, uh, and, and when it aired in June, we had like an airing party, which was really, really cool. Um, so we had that, and then there was in... August, I think it was August, maybe August twelfth. I'm, I'm, I'm not hundred uh, percent sure on the date, but I think it was August twelfth. There was the live show, um, the quarterfinals and the semifinals, and after that, like everything just went kind of crazy. Wow. You know, like I've had so many opportunities. You know. Mm -hmm. Were the live shows at Radio City Music Hall? Uh, the live shows were actually in the Dolby Theater this year. Oh, and this year oh. was at the Dolby. I mean, uh, last year, sorry, the, last the year. year I was on. I think um, when Simon came, I think his first year he came, I think was the first year they started doing it 
uh, the the live shows in in L.A. in the Dolby Theater, which by the way is huge. Where they do the Oscars. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's crazy. Wow. I, I can't even believe I was on the same stage as all those people. Like that's insane. That is. That's insane. Wow. The Dolby Theater is huge. That's overwhelming too. You just walk on and 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 this is huge. It's a beautiful set. You know, like mm-hmm. they they really do a good job with production and set. And you you just walk on and and you, you look out into the crowd and whew. and that's that. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then yeah, and then you start to then then you start to have a heart attack. Yeah. Oh my it's goodness. It's so nerve wracking. <laughs> so nerve wracking. Now, what did you do um, after America's Got Talent once that concluded? Uh, so after America's Got Talent, it was just a lot, a lot, a lot of performing. Uh, and one of the cool things is I've been able to get into recording studios, and I, I've been recording a lot and, and writing a lot. So it's really, really cool. It's really cool, and it's exciting, too, to actually be able to put your own stuff out and uh, you know have have your own music and something that isn't somebody else, you know, it's it's yeah. you. Yeah. That that that's one of the coolest things I think that I've uh, that I've gotten. One of the coolest opportunities, and I, I'm excited to to put more out and have more music out. And I'm really, really, you know, working on it, and and you know, I'm really excited. It's yeah. Cool. Um, after we met at that conference, I turned on Channel 12, and they did a whole like little news piece on you and for a second I had to do a double take because I was like wait a minute I just met that guy yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even know I was on News 12 until I, I got home and 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 I think it was even my my brother or my dad texted me like yo you're on News 12 today I was like oh am I really okay <laughs> not something you hear every day I was like okay <laughs> so you have a new song um, we're going to get into all of that stuff, what you're doing now. You know, we talked about everything that you did in the past and what led you up to this point. So when we we're going to get into the music really quick, we have some nice Christmas jams. I hope you like Christmas music. I love Christmas music. Yes. Well, we're going to get into the music. And when we come back, we're going to talk everything Christian present. Are all right. You, no pun intended. Present, hey, Christmas look at present. that. Look at that. <laughs> so funny, guys. Uh, we got a little John Lennon. <laughs> Happy there Christmas. War is over. Manic Monday will be right back. And we are back. It is Manic Monday. And we have Christian Gardino What's in the studio. On? What's up, Christian? How's everything going, guys? You made our Monday so much better being yeah. here. Yes. Oh, man. Monday's, Monday's usually a pretty rough day, so <laughs> <laughs> this, I appreciate that. This is true. We try to make the Mondays as brightest or manic as possible, you mm-hmm. know, get yeah. the energy right. going up in here. So we just talked about your past and what brought you up to this point singing career wise now Mm -hmm. what's going on you have a song that just recently dropped you performed at that news conference let's talk about the news conference yeah so the media council Mm -hmm. uh that was really cool to be at and and that's actually where i met you star yes and and, um you know it was actually the same day that my song dropped too so what was cool about that is i got to sing i sang the national anthem i was there uh uh, the last year too, when they last year they did it, um, so I, I sang I sang the uh, I sang the national anthem, and then I actually had the opportunity to perform uh, the new song, which by the way was really I was nervous about that too. I'm I'm nervous a lot. <laughs> tell. Hey, it's it okay. happens. It's what okay. are you gonna do, right? Right. I don't Us know. Too. Nothing. There's nothing you could do about it. But uh, you know, I, I sang that song and. Um, you know, it was really, really cool, and it was. It, I can't believe the timing, just the timing of that, where it was the same day as the media council, and and the song dropped that day. So that um, really that worked must have been out. A great feeling for you. Oh my god, it was awesome. Yeah, like you know, having a new song, making it, and then actually performing it the day that it's the released. Day, yeah, the day it dropped, yeah. I got to perform it, which is cool. Very nice. Yeah. So let's hear about this song. Let's hear about the inspiration behind it. Let's hear about lyrics and all that stuff because we have Tyler over there listening and he is a sucker for lyrics. Yes. If you have great, <laughs> meaningful lyrics, he, he will it. love you so much. So let's hear everything. Okay, well, this song is, uh, is, is a very rare kind of song. It's a song that you don't hear very often. It's a love song. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it, it, you know, we worked with a really, really cool songwriter uh, named Sasha Scarbeck, and, and he's written songs for James Blunt. Adele. Adele, yeah, mm-hmm. Miley Cyrus. Just uh, a few just, names. Yeah, some really, really <laughs> cool people. 
Um, and he's an awesome, awesome guy. He's also a really good musician, too. Uh, and, uh, you know, this song, you know, we worked on it. It was really, really, really cool. And, and I love the sound of the song. And, and the lyrics just meant, you know, it, it really meant a lot. Uh, um, it's it's about, you know, this, this, this guy who can't, you know, go on without uh, the specific person. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't doesn't have to necessarily be like, you know, a girl or somebody. So it could be anybody. So yeah. it's yeah, it's it's what I love about this song is it's it could be subjective. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Music in general is 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 subjective. So I think you know this song is really really cool, and and I I'm so lucky to have been able to record it. And and recording the song was actually my first time in in the music studio. So that was cool. Really, what was that like? Actually, stepping foot inside of the studio overwhelming yeah <laughs> again um you know what it was it, it was funny because it wasn't you know it wasn't a lot it wasn't a big crowd I wasn't you know in front of a lot of people it was just a few people Sasha my you know my mom was there uh and uh, a film team and it was just so overwhelming you know like I remember walking into that studio and he starts the track and I'm supposed to sing I'm supposed to sing it and then I just go uh uh and I, I, I stopped. I couldn't I couldn't start. Yeah. So what we did was we started we started uh, with the chorus. I was like, all right, you know, we should we could start with the chorus. Maybe that'd be easier. And that's how we did it. We did the chorus. We comped everything. And then mm-hmm. we did the verses. Um, but I don't know. Ever since then, I it was it, I've been fine. But but that for just that first time of being in the studio and all that equipment and 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 just recording a song, you yeah. know, uh, it was just uh, it just seemed overwhelming to me uh but but i got i got over it we did it um and it was really really cool and i now i love i love being in the studio so yeah it's so much fun you have plans on getting back into the studio oh absolutely studio hashtag studio sesh you know the people here we we have studios (laughs) here we have recording studios here so there's always people recording in studios and stuff and on snapchat they're like studio sesh (laughs) oh that's so cool that's so cool yeah that's my crowd right there i got to be a part of that Uh, yes definitely absolutely more than welcome to come down and hang oh my goodness (laughs) oh my goodness yeah so that's that's a really great accomplishment actually stepping foot in the studio doing your thing overcoming those nerves and those fears starting out with a chorus first that's a really cool tactic on how to do things you know sometimes you go into something thinking you're going to do it one way and then you, you just do it completely different and yeah. you got to do what you got to do you know so that was really cool that's very inspiring yeah yeah thank you thank you it was, ner- it was nerve-wracking so it's like you know it's so overwhelming that it just it's like all right how are we going to do this you know we yeah. have to think of a different way to do it for my my first time just because i was like i can't i, can't, I couldn't do it yeah so you are going to perform you're going to sing your new yes. song to us yes i am oh, i'm so excited <laughs> for this thank you thank you yes the song is called missing part of me and i'm really really excited to perform it for you guys all right well we're going to go ahead and get the music started for you so that you can perform cool. um we're going to have you let's see no i guess you could stay where you are yeah usually we have our guests sit over here but it's okay no it's all right all right leave him where he is leave him where he is <laughs> <laughs> So in the meantime, while we're getting that all queued up, do you have any advice for anyone that might want to become a singer? Uh, Yes. Don't don't forget where you come from. You know, you know, you're going to make music It's going to be successful. You know, don't forget where you grow up. Don't forget, you know, where you come from and don't don't change don't switch up you know what i mean because i think one of the most important things is to stay you know stay grounded and not you know arrogant or like you know yeah like 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 all about yourself be you know be the person you were before you started and and always never censor yourself you know always say what you need to say you know no matter what anyone's gonna say about it Put down what you need to put down on your music because it's, you know, it's your music. It's nobody else's music, you know. So say what you have to say and don't worry about the repercussions or what, you know, what are people going to say? You know, can I not say this? You could say whatever you want. It's your music. Say what yeah. you need to say. All righty. Say what's on your mind. Very good. Well, here we go. We're getting all queued up here. Christian, you're going to take it away. All right. I don't know what to tell you 
And I find it hard to find the words to say And I'm miles away And all I want to do is stay And it's not getting easier And I won't blame you if you find another man And I'll understand if you're someone else's plan This is unnatural It means nothing without you It means nothing without you Like they used to, a heart beat like they used to. Oh, oh, you're all I need. You're the missing part of me. And I know I'm the one to blame, but I didn't know just. That was terrific. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, so good. Such a great song. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going to get Tyler Brandt. He is the uh, lyric connoisseur around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Tyler, what did you think? I'm nervous. No, that was ridiculous. You th- like, oh, in man. the best way possible. That was so, so, so sick. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. That was you. really, really good. We're lucky. Like that's a really cool opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you for that. I really yes. appreciate you like, saying thank that. Thank you so, you. so much. That was really cool. Thank wow. You. Thank you so much. It's Blown my pleasure. Blown away over here by the talent. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like seriously, he had that whole conference room just like watching him. No one, not a peep from anyone. He killed that performance, whether it be the national anthem or his new song. <laughs> that was amazing what a great opportunity to watch you you. absolutely so now before we get ready to wrap do you want to tell everyone a little bit where they can find you on social media absolutely absolutely you can find me on instagram at christian guardino 
on Twitter at Christian Sings and on Instagram at Christian Gordino Inspires. Uh, and on Facebook, I always do that. Facebook at Christian Gordino Expires. It in- expires? Expires. Wow. You're expiring? I, I guess oh, I'm no. expiring. Christian Gordino's <laughs> expired. No. no, Christian Gordino Inspires. Facebook. Yes. Um, and if you want to find the song, it is on Apple Music. It's called Missing Part of Me. Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, all that cool stuff. So iTunes, check it out. And I, I really hope you guys like it and enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, that was that was my song. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so Thank much you for performing that. it. Oh, can't wait to hear it on the radio. Ah, man. Well, imagine that'd be crazy one day. Well, we just heard <laughs> we it just on the radio. Well, actually, we just yeah. did it on the radio. Yeah. Well, technically, we just did. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You performed it live on the radio, too. Wow, that's cr- that's, that's that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it, and it was yes. great. And so, if you want to listen to this for uh, Christian and everyone listening... If you want to listen to this again, if you couldn't get enough of this interview, you can go to mixcloud.com slash WFTU, and it's all there. All our shows are yes. on there. Yes, Manic Monday's on there, so if your friends and family want to listen back, we can provide you for that link later on. We'll be posting it on our Instagram, Manic Monday WFTU, and also our video that we usually take of our guests, we'll also post that on there, so you're a part of the Manic Monday family now. Oh, that's so, right. And yeah. we'll link all of his information, where to follow him down below over there. So this was a great show. Absolutely. I told you guys I had a really great performer. <laughs> you this did. was so much fun. I, I really appreciate you having me and for the record online shopping is always better oh. online shopping is always better and Tarjay is the way that you uh, Tarjay. Tarjay. Oh, you know what's so, yeah he said Tarjay I was like oh man that's how I say target that's I know how I right I always say Tarjay I always say that oh my I goodness say Tarjay. I was all like, right ah. thank you so much for having thank us. you thank, thank you, you Christian yes. thank you for having me yes yes of course it's my pleasure to be here thanks for that's being right our guest, our musical guest. Oh, so excited. And that does it for another week of Manic Monday. We I will be know. back next week, the last week. Yes, the last week of Manic this Monday. This semester. It's our last holiday edition episode. You were on our holiday edition episode. This is our holiday edition. I yeah, so. Well, I feel special. Very exciting. <laughs> holiday. Yes. All right, That's guys. That's right. Going fast. Christian, thank you once again. Merry Christmas. Thank Happy New Year to thank you and your family. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Likewise. Thank, thank you, you. Guys. Thank you very much. So, guys. Until next Monday, have a great week, and hopefully we'll see everyone at tonight's event. Right, Star? One yes, more time. Yes. So tonight in the Downbeat, 7 p.m., Radio Awards, Holiday Fun. All the great performers will be performing. So get ready. Get some Greek food. It's going to be great. 7 p.m. tonight in the Downbeat. Be there or be square. All righty. <laughs> perfect. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.